Hello, and welcome to 3D Printing Thursday. My name is Matthew, and in today's episode, we'll be talking about how you can edit high polygon mesh files, like a 3D scan, for free within SOLIDWORKS. This makes printing some files much easier. You can give a mesh a flat surface to align to a bed plate or other objects when nesting. When it comes to part orientation and optimal nesting, ensuring your parts have a clean surface to adhere to the plate or evenly spaced between each other is key. As 3D scanning and printer technology advances, the ability to use 3D scans or print freeform geometries becomes easier. 3D scans rarely have perfect surfaces to work from, however, so additional reverse engineering or prep may be needed prior to printing. Thankfully, within SOLIDWORKS, there are tools we can use to directly edit a high polygon mesh file and re-export for printing. To start off, let's import a mesh file into SOLIDWORKS by simply opening the file. It's important to note that we want to import the mesh as a graphical body, which is enabled via the settings. If we choose solid or surface, it'll take a while longer to load and possibly fail if it's too complex or high of a polygon count. A graphic body will import quickly and still allow us to use some of the mesh modeling tools within the mesh tab of SOLIDWORKS. Now that we've opened up our scan inside of SOLIDWORKS, in order to interact with this file, we need to convert from graphical information into a mesh. Within the mesh tab, there is a convert to mesh tool. This will change the body type within SOLIDWORKS from graphical to solid mesh a simple one-to-one -one conversion that won't affect the quality. Now, as a solid mesh body, we can begin using extracted or sketched features to Boolean from the mesh. Before that, however, we'll need to make a plane to work from since the scan wasn't aligned to a coordinate system, a common issue you may encounter with graphical data created elsewhere. Instead of aligning this to a coordinate system, I prefer to make a new plane parallel to screen since the slicing software we use will allow for a quick alignment once it has a flat surface. A center point can be extracted from the solid mesh body, and after aligning the scan in a way I like with the screen, a plane parallel to it can also be extracted. With this new plane, we can begin sketching simple features that pass through the mesh. Dimensions can also be added, since we're able to interact now with the graphical information since we converted it into a mesh body, giving exact dimensions to our features. Once the extruded square is made, we can simply use the combine tools to remove the solid body from the mesh, leaving a nice flat surface. This will also work with adding features. For this statue, we'll add a small nameplate to the front. Doing the same workflow of extracting a solid and then using the combine tool, we can add the new feature to our imported mesh file and merge them together into a single body. As we can see using the cutaway tool, there aren't any gaps between the plaque and the mesh body itself. Once you've finished editing the mesh, you can re-export it as an STL file. The polygons of the scans that are unedited will remain at a high polygon level, but the solids and surfaces we cut will be reduced to simpler geometry. If we go back into a slicing software like Iger, we can see that the mesh file is easier to select on and align to the build plate. And if we wish to run a simulation on this mesh, these newly created cut surfaces will be easier to select on for forces and fixturing. This workflow is extremely handy if you have tool heads or features that you need to keep but create new features around. By using a similar method, we can import 3D scans of tools and extract the key features we need to transfer onto a new model. Keep in mind that higher polygon files may result in slower performance, like this wrench. Once a boolean command is made to remove large parts of this mesh, however, performance increases and we can work from the newly created simple surfaces for features and just re-export as an STL again. The mesh modeling tools within SOLIDWORKS are great for anyone who wants to make simple, quick edits to an already existing STL or other 3D mesh file. If you find that parts aren't adhering to a build plate well, need to be nested better, or a complex scan needs some features trimmed, the mesh modeling tools are a great and free way to make these adjustments. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in learning more 3D printing tips, please check out our other 3D Printing Thursday videos, or subscribe to our channel for more engineering software and printing information.